All right. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Planet Xbox episode 24. Got a uh, Lord Attic here. What's going on, guys? Look like you had a, a, a busy week. Oh, I see you got the Starfield covered on, on the Xbox. Okay. Was that, a, yeah, was that a complimentary or did you have to come out of pocket for that? I think they sent it to us. I don't know. I, I, so I'll be buying stuff. They be sending us stuff. I can't keep up with which, which is what. I mean, I'd like to have it, but I don't want to drop 50 to match my controller. My primary controller is the Starfield I'll, I'll send, controller. I'll send you one. And a headphone, so it'll definitely go good together so, I, for sure. I, I have an extra one. I'll send you it. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> um the other uh we also i know uh, this was put up in the patreon shout shout out to the one and only pony commissioner jack move johnny on the 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 new edition of uh play xbox man how you doing jack what's good brother how y'all doing man what's going on man a new and improved planet xbox you know what i mean digging the show how y'all doing appreciate it we we've been good we've been good um, you know, looking forward to getting back to Weapon Wheel. This has probably been the busiest December we've ever had. Um, you know, thanks to uh, a, a few uh hacks here and there and whatnot, which we'll definitely get into. Um, but before we get into that, just want to get into like what games everybody's been playing. If anybody's playing anything, I know uh, we all got through the whole games beat list uh for this uh year. Usually, sometimes I, I, you know, I throw in a towel around this time and just kind of chill. But I've been able to sneak some stuff in. Um, uh, let's sta- start with you, Jack. What you uh, are you are you uh, diving into anything right now? <laughs> it's it's funny you mentioned that game beat list, man. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be real too smooth after we do that joint. I don't be wanting to beat no more games for the rest of the year, bro. <laughs> like I'm on that same type of time right now. But um, I'm still playing through Alan Wake two. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm on like chapter four right now. I found out that game got like 19 chapters, bro. That, I'm already 12 hours, like 10, 12 hours in, bro. Like, how long is that game? God damn. Uh, played that. Just got the PS portal. But like I said, I'm not trying to play no games right now. So, you know, I, I t- tested out a few games on there. I ain't really playing nothing right now. Damn. But, uh, okay. Yeah. You ain't allowed we, nobody we to give you that for Christmas or anything like that? Yeah. Man, you know. You know, man, I be trying to buy my own gifts now, mm-hmm. man. Family be getting mad at me. I'm like, yeah, man, I got it. You know, I got it. It's cool. Yeah, they didn't give me the accessories. Though. They didn't give me the accessories. Right, right, right on with you, bro. Like, I'm, a, I just the crazy thing is, I'm going through a situation right now. I'm, I'm done like Christmas shopping, right? But I'm like asking around, like, hey, you know, I got my eye on this thing called the, uh, you know, Quest Three. Am I, you know, gifting myself that, or is somebody gifting that for me? Because I need to know now <laughs> but uh um because i'm i'm actually gonna try to try my hands in a uh you know vr truly this year and um um my kids don't watch this show so i ain't spoiling anything but um like so i kind of got everybody like you know the quest two but i'm trying to jump on a you know the quest three and i plan on like you know christmas day doing like the uh uh vr among us so hoping oh. uh Hoping it's successful. Um, I've, I've never um, really messed with VR outside of the PSVR first generation. Um, and my experience with that was very light. Like I got it for Christmas one year and didn't really do much. Um, with it, after all, I think I spent time in like two games, which was that, uh, my God, was it that a uh, Quantic, not Quantic Dream, what's this? Sum- what the hell is they name? They made Until Dawn, that, that roller coaster sort of. Master. Yeah, super massive. They, yeah, had, a, they yeah. had a VR game. I messed with that a lot. Heavy. Russia blood. Russia yeah, blood. Yeah, Russia blood. I thought that was cool. And it was like something else that I played. I think there was like a Gran Turismo or, or Drive Club portion of some. But after a while, I was just started chilling, playing regular games in it just to have like a personal TV. But um but this time I'm I'm, I'm gonna see uh see what it do. Uh but what I've been um I, again, like I said, I kind of scaled back. I think the last official game that I like I beat and I called it a day on was like Spider-Man, but I had bought up, I purchased some um, AA games. Uh, I've been playing Terminator. Uh, I think it's Terminator Extinction um, on the Xbox. I think that's, it's a, it's a, it's a cool AA experience. It reminds me of uh, those first person shooters. Like when you used to go, your parents used to take you to Walmart, you, you get allowed to pick a game out of the bargain bin and you just look whatever looks the coolest on the back. Like, all right, which one looks more interesting? <laughs> it's, it's And then you find a game and it's like, oh, okay, you, something you, you know, you play for like a weekend and it, it turns out to be good. Uh, it's Terminator is, is, is just that it it's 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 low key. It's not too great. The story is good. The graphics are. All right, but it's a, a, a shoot 'em up 
first person shooter that tries to deliver a solid story. And it's, it's, it's the perfect example of an average mediocre video game that I'm not mad at. So I've been playing that. I think I'm, I'm I have to be at least halfway through that. So that's what I've been so- playing. What 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 inspired you to get? Is it because that that new RoboCop game they dropped, mm. or like what inspired you to even? So get that? the thing is, is that I'll go through these lords, and the thing is, we all get caught up. You know how you have your your you know you, your indie fad, or like there's these you know games that you play that just nobody rocks with, right? Um, yeah, of course. I have a like the thing is back when I was like during the PS2 GameCube era days, I wasn't buying a bunch of like the biggest games. I would buy just mid-tier games that just look cool like um uh so every now and then like i'll wait till like games come out like robocop and terminator that i wouldn't like i don't purchase day one like i was like all right i want to i know i want to play the game but i need this to hit at a discount first i need to hit at a discount and it just so happens both those games were on a discount uh this week for the the, the xbox countdown so um ter- i think terminator was like maybe uh, I think thirty dollars, and then the seventy dollar version of RoboCop was on sale for like forty eight. So I was like, "All right, I'm buying both, and I'm gonna play through both of them." RoboCop, I was a big fan of RoboCop back in the day, and um, a, a fan of Terminator. And I knew these games weren't like super top tier games, but they were like good mid tier games. And I have a knack for them, and my I, library is full of those type of games that just come by that I know nobody else ain't gonna rock with, but I will because I'll get through it in like you know two three days. I'm curious why like you guys still mm-hmm. like for the most part like we might IOP might pay for certain games, but you know you talk about all these games on the podcast. Why don't you reach out and actually get review codes? Like you nah. guys are bigger than us. Man, I try, bro. I be trying to get like some games, you know what I mean? I be on like the key site. Some games, yeah, they mess with you, bro. But like mm-hmm. uh, a perfect example, Attic, bro. They new game Cookie Cutter, bro. I tried to get a review code for that. They ain't mess with me. I had to buy that joint. They ain't mess with me, bro. Who's co- what is Cookie Cutter? It's like it's like this Metroidvania game. You ain't seen it. It's like no. little shit going around killing shit. It, it, it's mad, like violent and shit. It look cool. I, I just bought it the other day. Yo, yeah, yeah. I wish I, I had I just, that relationship I, uh, with a. Uh, uh, some double like because the thing is I want that relationship with just all like double like Nacon I think did both Terminator and Robocop and I tried to reach out to Na- uh, Nacon back when they were about when they were putting out that game um, Werewolf and that, it was it was a game where I was trying to get everybody to play because that was one of my games like last year that I played was uh, Werewolf uh, again perfect example of mediocre um, but it was a good playthrough got through it in like you know two days but I, yeah I don't have a you know a relationship uh, with the you know the publishers or the PR team over at Nacon they do a lot of like double A stuff if you don't make the attempt to 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 reach out to these people you're never gonna have a relationship. No, I've reached out to them for Werewolf. Back back when werewolf you think, uh, was a thing. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Hey, you think we should do it as like a podcast? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. present it yeah. like that. How how IOP does it is sometimes we'll do a podcast. I have a rule when I reach out to people now. Um, if you want us to cover your game and extensively, well, for like an individual video, we need review codes and we need them before the game comes out. Uh, some like uh, like Ubisoft's been real bad for this. Like they'll give us the. The game like the day it comes out and it's just like in that case we'll we'll talk about it for like five ten minutes on the podcast but we're not making an individual video like that's not my fault you didn't give me uh access to actually be able to play the game thoroughly before we have to move on to another game mm. because like i i think these publishers and stuff one thing they don't realize is gaming streets move very fast like w- one week something will be hot the next week talking about something completely different that's true that's true so it's like you know if it's, you a, want it's, me, it's, a, it's a it's a time sensitive thing like you know what I mean? I, if I you want me to effectively cover your game i have to get early access and people sit there and they say oh entitlement no it's not entitlement if you want me to because here's the thing like people look at it from like only the the influencer the podcaster like benefiting from it that's not the case mm-hmm. these people get free publicity for so, and a lot of the time, like they're not sending you physical media; they they they're sending you a digital, a digital copy of the game, and, and it's just like it. I will do what I can, but if you if you send it to me mad late, there's only so much I can do. I can't effectively cover a game in that amount of time. I mean, I, I would say like considering Weapon Wills 
side audience and, and, and viewership, we should be able to leverage that to get, you know, lucrative sponsorships, you know, game access. media. Well, it should access. be reaching out to us, though. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck? Going True. On, man? True. But again, we'll uh, we, we are on the... Uh, <laughs> The crumb side of I, things. So. No, no, yeah, that, that's that, what right? I will say. You know, you guys got a, a pretty crazy audience, but I don't think that means you can't get co- like if I don't think people because I don't think uh, Weapon was like the best PR friendly, but I don't think you couldn't find PR. Uh, you couldn't find sponsorships for those particular things. You have to look for them, and, and you know it's going to take legwork. You know. Maybe speak to, uh, to BG, and if he doesn't have the time, when do you do that? Uh, you know, reach out to companies, say, "Yo, this is our audience, this is our retention." Uh, so, you know, you guys get like thousand plus live viewers most of the time. Like, there ain't no reason you can't get that, especially. That's why I, I'll be talking about like these these people in the industry. It's like, you know, they. I I truly believe influencers and podcasters and streamers. Like of mid size to to smaller size, they get taken advantage of way too much. Mm. No, because true. like, I mean, you look at it that well. So I've seen your guys's podcast get anywhere from thirty to seventy thousand views consistently. And you mean to tell me that the the game the games that you cover they won't? That's thirty to fifty thousand people you you guys are just showing the game to. Yeah. Quite, uh... Addict, speaking of, uh, what, have you been playing anything um, like this week? I know you've been producing a lot of shows going on and getting involved with a lot of uh, uh, trouble with uh, these uh, content creators oh. like over these leaks and stuff. Yeah, they, they, they ain't liking me too much. Unfortunately for them, I don't care. Uh, but, you know, it, it's just it's very unfortunate, especially with this leak scenario going on that, you know, and then people wonder why. There's too much, you know, middle ground between media and influencers because I feel like certain influencers that used to be in the media want to push us to act like more like media. And it's just like, it's not right, man. And people, people been going at me. Not too bad. I, th- I think I've actually had a little bit more positivity uh, hitting me uh, over this whole thing than I've hit negative. But yeah, they, <laughs> they definitely not feeling me. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Um, what, what? I have been playing. Uh, I, I have been playing. Uh, I just finished Octopath Traveler two. Okay. How was yeah, that? It took me like a hundred and ten hours to finish. Okay. It, it was. It was very complicated. Like the last boss is not easy. Um. Hold on. I was about to say we have a. Have you done your uh, your wrap up? Yeah, I, I think uh, what, I could bring it up if you want me to. Yeah, what ter- turned out to be your game? Was it Persona 5? Persona 5 Persona Royale, 5. yeah. Okay, that's crazy. And uh, I know, Jack, you made one for Xbox. I forgot. What it, it, it showed nothing, right? It said you need... No, no, I, I played... Uh, what I play? I played like two games. Let me see. I, I think I can find it real quick. Oh, here you go, right here. Two games played, 21 achievements. My most played game was Hi-Fi Rush. There you go. Seven hours. Nice. Uh, did you do your PlayStation wrap up? I yeah, I did. Where is that at? Oh, uh, shit. Um, it had like 400 something hours. It wasn't nothing crazy. I used to play way more than that. Yeah, actually, I, did, I just realized I didn't do mine. I'm curious. Of what oh, you got to go do that. You got to go do oh, that. Just, you see your wrap up right now. Take me there. I think uh, it, it should be like, honestly, I don't. I, I only played like really one game uh, this year. Seriously. It's gonna make me sign in on some BS. Uh, I don't know how I lost my joint. What the hell? But my oh, here, is this oh Persona Five Strikers was my top play game. Okay, 120, 129 hours. That's the one game I want them to bring to Xbox because that's the that's the free flowing action one, right? Ain't the ain't the joint on Xbox? Persona Five not, Strikers, not the Strikers version. Nah, nah. really? Mm, never made it. I thought I thought it was. What the hell? Oh wow. That's the uh, oh, you might you might you might you might like that joint. Yeah, you might might dig it. It said I played six games. My first game played of the year was Minecraft. That's definitely my daughter because um, before I activated her PlayStation account. Uh, here are your big hitters of 2023. 
Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Remastered, The Last of Us Remastered, and Joe Wander, The Enigmatic Adventures. So you play Joe Wander? Graphically, I think that game is pretty good, but it's very it's a basic platformer. Who the hell are, you say Joe Wander? Joe Wander and the Ignat in the Ignat Enigmatic Adventures. It's, it's a thing's okay. a PS5 exclusive. It's 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 a gorgeous looking game. It is a gorgeous looking game. It's just, but it's a basic like platformer, a little Indiana Jones uh Mario mashup. Um check it out. Check it out. Um I'm not looking at that, yeah. I spent 31 hours in Spider-Man 2, 25 trophies, 81% playtime ratio compared to the other games. Uh, Last of Us Remastered, I think that was my son. He wanted to play it after watching the Last of Us show. And then Spider-Man Remastered, I was trying, I was going to try to play it. Uh, I had no reason to play it because the same it's Spider-Man 2018, but I forgot I had access to the game after buying um the Miles Morales game. So um but yeah, that's my uh, PlayStation wrap up. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I didn't spend too much time on PlayStation uh, this year. Um, we have some Patreon questions. Let's get um, get to that right quick. Uh, the first question comes from uh, Earl Walker. He has two questions. Uh, he says, what would you do if Xbox go Third party, would you would you Xbox console warriors stop the bullshit? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> These people console war way more than we ever will. Like they they paying money to leave comments like that. Like like they are paying you to ask crazy ass shit like that. Now, if Xbox goes for third party, as in and and still keep a console, uh. I will still do the consider whatever you consider bullshit. I'll probably still be playing it on the Xbox. If Xbox goes away as a console and just be third party, I would just probably uh, my time would probably move over to uh, PC and mobile PC. And and, and it will be exactly the same, except I will be doing whatever I would be doing on Xbox on PC and mobile PC, like the Rogue Ally and stuff like that. And um, I'll, pro- I'll probably play more on PlayStation naturally because uh, uh, I think my third party experience would like true third party experience uh, will probably uh, go there uh, for the sake of profile, you know, trophies, stuff like that. Um, assuming the Xbox interface, intersystem, whatever exists, you know, obviously I want to maintain that, um, but it will just be maintained on a PC and a mobile PC. But what about you, Addict? Um, I don't think that Xbox would ever go third party and still be part of, let's still have a console. So I would just go to PC and PlayStation and Switch, exactly what I'm doing now, except for play the Xbox stuff on PC. Like, it, it's not really a big deal. Most likely, those games are gonna run better anyway. I played Starfield on PC, so yeah, I, I don't know what's the exception of why uh, some of these uh, PlayStation guys is like they want Xbox to cease to exist. My thing is, what good will it do them? Like, I don't. So what changes? I was like, all right, there's no Xbox now. What? Like, I don't understand what's the need, the want or what's the end game, but I don't know. What, what do you think they, of a they, comment they like that? Too, I'm curious to see they, hear Jack's they, perspective. Real, that. real quick, Jack, mm-hmm. do you believe that if these PlayStation people would have put all this energy they've been hating Xbox for all these years on PlayStation, PlayStation would be having these issues they're having? <laughs> that, hey, Attic, that's a, <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation, man. I don't even want to look. I'm going to say this, right? I and people ain't gonna like what I'm saying. I feel like the next generation of consoles will be the last generation of consoles as far as X, as far as Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, I think um, they're all going strictly internet after that. I mean, I, I guess I don't know if the, the 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 research and development cost is too much or they not liking the type of profit they turn on these consoles. But if you look at both of their strategies and bo- both of what the, I feel like both of them want to move to not producing their own hardware i think is it, the writing's on the wall you know what i mean we might get five ten years more console game but after that everything is gonna move to streaming like it, the people the the further they can get you away from actually owning the shit you put money into they're gonna do it 
with any type yeah. of media. So, yeah. Yeah. so I feel like I feel like it's going is is you know they pushing the cloud shit heavy right now. You know what I mean? So I don't think game uh, traditional gaming is not going to exist in in five to ten years, in my opinion. Yeah, it is it, something to be worried about because I just realized, dude, I was in the mood to listen to uh, Drake and Young Thug Ice Melts uh, off More Life, um, and I can't listen to it. Because Young Thug's in trouble with the law, and I think a lot of his songs are like black. Anything he's on, just like R. Kelly, is blacked out, so I don't have access to it. So I have to like find another, oh, that's crazy. which is that's which that's is crazy. it's criminal. It's it, it's criminal that that can happen, and that's what makes me like, yo, I should probably fall back off this uh, streaming and, and digital shit and start like really buying this shit because um, when that happens, because it was also I was, you know how you get in the mood to listen to just a song I want to listen yeah. to that Snoop Dogg and R. Kelly, that's that shit um, oh, yeah, I remember, I remember yeah, can't do it if you go to any of these UMG sites uh, Apple Music, none of that, you can't get it, you have to like go through the dark web to get the song in order to listen to some R. Kelly or anything he's involved in um, so yeah, that's to show you um, next question comes from Earl Walker, he says, what game does Xbox got that can compete with Wolverine? Uh, well, Wolverine... Considering, considering we ain't seen Wolverine, uh, like, it's finished statement. I don't know how that game's going to turn out. Any action game with decent graphics. So, any game that Xbox has released that's considered action, hack and slash with decent visuals is that and, and that's available because it's, it's available now now if i if you want to talk about future games that aren't available along with wolverine then i can point to shit like uh fable and hellblade 2 and uh whatever they got in a tuck that's in concept uh blade i don't blade like i mean they're both about equal in terms of their availability uh and, and style so uh I don't know. Jack? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why y'all letting Earl get y'all triggered, man? Uh I mean, I think I think you answered it pretty nicely, man. man. If we go on off if we going off the rules, right? Robo Rain is not out yet. It's still in early development according to Insomniac. So uh a blade answer would suffice. A hell blade too. Two games I'm looking forward to playing. So there you go. There you go, Earl. <laughs> uh Addict, did you I know you uh, you missed some I know a few answered the question um i guess the only one you could compare is blade because it's the only game that's mm -hmm. any that is a superhero game on the xbox platform currently so it's like you know that that's all <laughs> and uh shout out to christian he says what's your new year's resolution um for me i would say you know get in better shape uh be extremely healthy uh make myself uh you know fully available to uh my family uh do a lot more things touch grass more um and uh you know excel uh achieve better higher positions at work get paid more uh do do something i don't know better with my platform as far as youtube and and x and video games i just hope to be um you know, whole as in like whatever I'm doing, what I'm I'm working on, I'm giving it my all and I'm doing it, you know, uh at full strength and at full health, uh and at full um expect like at full capacity. So just to be better than uh last year, of course, you know, I'm wishing you know everybody's in, in good health and whatnot. That's that's you know number one and you know stay blessed and, and prayed up. Um what about you addict? Uh, I think my priority this year is probably going to be my health, you know, losing, uh, losing some weight, gain a little muscle, just be overall generally more healthy, you know, uh, getting older. So I realize, you know, my body ain't taking age very well. So I got, I got to do a little bit more on my end. It'll be more consistent going to the gym. Uh, just things like that, you know, as far as like YouTube, I do think I want to hit like 15,000 subscribers by the, mm -hmm. by the end of next year. So uh, that's going to be like a little goal of mine. What's up, Jack? You got any New Year's resolutions? 
Uh, I mean, similar to what you guys said, you know, I've been going to the gym this year. Uh, not completely where I want to be with that. You know what I mean? Uh, so you could be where I am not going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know what I mean? You definitely got to, you know, consistency is key with that stuff. So I definitely want to do that. Of course, I want to make more money. Who don't want to make more money? That's always a goal every single year. Um, like I said, man, on Twitter, man, as long as my weight and my bank account start with different numbers at the end of next year, I'll be satisfied, bro. Of course, trending in a positive direction. I don't want to be fucking 500 pounds, but y'all get what, y'all get what I'm saying, right? Like, so long as that's taken care of, man, my family good, bro. I, I do want to beat more games. I, did, I only beat 10 games this year, man. That's that's very low for me. I, I remember years where I used to beat 30, 35 games. I didn't even scratch that this year, right? So I definitely want to beat more games. Um, probably get more in tune with the live stream, and I've been, I've been kind of slacking with that, too. Just manage my time better. That's it. Yeah, and this year was supposed to be the best year in gaming, so... <laughs> exactly exactly i ain't, I ain't really see it i, so I, ain't gonna lie I didn't you, think no. it was the best year in gaming but i did think it was a fun year and it was solid it was solid let me let me ask y'all in recent memory do y'all remember y'all i guess you'll say or a highlight year in game I, I still go 2013 bro that that, that um, year was fired in recent memory like i think i mm. highlight years me personally if, just to go back i'm going to say 2000, damn, people, it's like 2005, 2006, I think 2008 was a good year. 2013 was a respectable year to me, and I enjoyed, I really think 2021 was also an awesome year too um, uh, for game releases, but those are like really the years that uh, come to mind. 2016 as well, did I mention 2016? 2016, I, there was a lot of uh, uh, gems uh, that I uh, fell in love with. So, oh, you know what other year? 2018. Let's talk about 2018, bro. Because a yeah. lot of games that came, and well, I don't even want to get into it, man. All I'm gonna say is the games that dropped in 2018, they've had sequels since then. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> 20, I'm just gonna say I put respect on 2018, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. 2018 had, I, you know, because I keep. Uh, you know, because these apples, they keep history and stuff like I have made like a notes list every year of all the games that I've beaten. I'm pretty sure some of those releases are definitely in here. Um, games beat 2018. Where are you? Oh, man, I definitely want to try to find that, dude, because I, I know obviously the obvious uh, God of War, Spider-Man, um, there was um Red Dead Two, came Red Dead Two, yeah, that's a, I mean that's the reason why uh, no Spider Man couldn't win any awards that year. I mean, uh, the, hold no, on, no, it didn't. No, it it's, didn't. Nope. Did Spider Man both Spider Mans not win one award at the Game of the Year awards? I think so. Yeah, that's crazy. But you got to think though, twenty eighteen was going up against God of War and Red Dead. Too, yeah, bro, like. And, and Spider Man Two didn't deserve no awards, but other than that, bro, I feel like you know what I mean. They did their thing. They did their thing. <laughs> you didn't like Spider Man Two? I like Spider Man, and you know what's funny, you Attic? Just think I, it's like blown out of proportion or something. It is definitely overrated, and I'm start. I'm finally starting to see people say how they truly feel about the game. Right? Like yeah. I said, Spider Man Two is a really good game. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a great game. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's great or amazing. It's really good. It's a solid. 7.58 you know what i mean that's not oh, no shit masterpiece like I, absolutely i'm gonna give it more respect than that you know what i mean i <laughs> no i don't think it's breaking barriers the thing is i don't think it's doing it's anything new it, it's it a, is a solid experience it's, it's, it's a solid game but the thing is, is spider i thought spider-man 8 2018 was really good right it was a no, really i didn't good, like 2018 i, I like really uh, spider-man 2 way more than spider-man 1 really? um, i don't i don't man i really don't i no, actually and, like and the, then the i also had it not attic, uh, Jack. You know what I did? When people go, out, people ain't gonna like this at all because they think I'm shitting on a game, man. I'm not. So remember, early in the year, I was trying to play. I was trying to play all the you know backwards compatible or the old Spider-Man games from 360 era, Xbox yeah. One era. I tried to do that, and then I learned that I a lot of these games weren't backwards compatible, so I couldn't do it without an Xbox 360. So I couldn't play a lot of the ones that I wanted to play, but I did. Get to play uh, the amazing Spider-Man Two. Uh, I think I finished that one, which was probably a mistake. 
uh, like I want to say right before Spider Man um, came out, sorry. It would, if people, a lot of people didn't play that game. This was the Activision published game, right? So if people didn't play that game. It wasn't. It wasn't based on the movie at all to any degree. Uh, the storyline is almost identical to what we just played. So and it, I was like, hold the fuck up. I'm talking about literally like I was able to do missions and predict missions based off the game I just played. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 had a lot of Kraven hideouts because Kraven was uh, one of the primary bad guys. Your primary enemies in the Amazing Spider-Man 2, uh, the video game was Kraven and not Venom, but Carnage. Mm. So it was literally the same plot, everything though. And then when the web, one of the things I thought was unique, and this was before, um, I, think, I don't know if the, it was before Detail State of Play came out. But when I was playing um, Spider Man Two, I was like, "Oh, this Spider Man have better, you know, mechanics in Spider Man 2018 because you could web with people on your shoulder and stuff like that because yeah, you have to bring yeah, them to the yeah. hospital and stuff." And they introduce that into the game and uh, rescuing people from fires. And they slightly introduced that to the game, but it wasn't as detailed because you didn't go into the burning building. You just kind of put out the fires with you your web in this game. Um, you know what's funny? When yeah. um, they asked me to, you know, like you do those missions and the people are left over. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you got to take them to the hospital. I let the ass there every time and it still gave me points for doing them. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know you could leave them. That's crazy. I, I don't, I think I did it one time mm. and it glitched because I couldn't pick him up. So I didn't pick him up, and it and it gave me points for it anyway. Maybe that was like for that particular moment, but after that, I was like, "Nah, mm-hmm. fuck that." I was like, "I ain't doing none of that shit." Yeah, it, the it game, be like down. You gotta take him anyway. It don't be nothing crazy. Yeah, the game, but the game. The thing is, and that was the thing. I was like, "Wow, this is a." a so I, I felt like I played the game. I played. I feel like I played an old version of the game, and then I felt like I played a remastered version of the same game, like the Amazing <laughs> Spider Man Two and Marvel Spider Man Two. Literally. If you play, if you go back, I mean, if you have an Xbox and get the Xbox, I'll lend it out to anyone because the game is uh, obviously you can't buy it digitally. It was a licensed game, um, but it's a lot of similarities. Uh, I just felt like I played Insomniac's take on that same exact story. And I felt like from that, they did a you know decent job. I do give them props for the boss fights were a lot you no know, better. Oh, no, the, bo- the, the gameplay, the game, mm-hmm. I don't really have a problem with the gameplay, bro. My biggest issue with Spider-Man 2 is that the story fucking suck. Like, I'm not feeling the writing, bro. The writing is 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 drastically, and what's crazy is that I saw a video from Griffin Gaming, which I don't even fuck with Griffin yeah, Gaming, but yeah. he was talking about how, like, a lot of modern gaming studios mm-hmm. are using, like, this new company to write their games or, mm-hmm. like, whatever. And I didn't even know that before I was making my complaints, but if you play Spider-Man 1, Miles Morales, mm-hmm. the, the the level of right is just different to me. It's like, it, I, I wasn't feeling it, bro. I really wasn't. Yeah, I and, mean, I, I, I get what you're saying. Now, there are there are things I didn't like about the game. I no, felt like they real, did a lot. Of, go quick, ahead. I think my bad. Real, real quick. Uh, are you telling me that these these studios are having other companies write their stuff? Their games, according to Griffin Gaming, man, it's a it's a company named like Sweet Baby Inc or some shit like that, and they come in and not necessarily write the whole game, but like some of the the Even side like quest or, yeah, like some some parts of the game they assist with the writing or get them uh pointers okay. or whatnot. I thought you were saying they literally hit sold us up was like. You write the story. Tell me when it's done, so we can start making. No, 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 not like that. Not like, like, like it's like an assist with it. But like, I could, I could kind of tell. Even I don't even know. Like, bro, it just, it was. I don't know, no, bro. It was weird, bro. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like, I didn't like that they they did a lot of pandering. All the side quests was like a dedication mm-hmm. to the bro. Uh, included crowd, like the inclusion um, quota. Like you dealt with dealing with, like you know. You know, satisfying the LBG community, the disabled, the you did. It's like they threw everything into this game. Um, And it's just it just felt like, you know, off putting. You know, some people I mean, those are the tips, the tricks you do to win, you know, awards and whatnot. Uh, But I felt a lot of the the stuff in it was forced. And I did feel like they scaled back on their side quest activities. I felt like they where they needed to add more uh uh to those side quests they regressed you know what i mean um bro you bringing up a good point look this is this is prop bro they made the map double the size or whatever bro and they reduced the amount of shit you do 
Like now you just got a big ass, empty ass open world, bro. Like, nah, man. That game is definitely yeah. overrated. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I mean, and the thing is, it's like I want to go back. Uh, I haven't played it since I beat it. It's hard for me to play games like unless and you know the thing is is I don't trophy hunt um in the way people think I do. Like if if I if I buy a game that I know I can get the thousand out of a thousand, you know, uh, on Xbox, you know, I'll do that, right? Spider-Man, like I said, it has a, a, a you know fun gameplay and stuff like that. I want to go back and get the platinum. The platinum's fairly easy based off from yeah, what you, I, you should you should go. You should go for it. Yeah, but that's the that's really but that thing that's the thing though. That's the only playability that I get out of the game, you know. Once you, once you complete it, um, it's like it's not. I don't really want to. I played, and I also at the time I think I beat it on the hardest difficulty, which I, I attempted the game on the hardest difficulty and just stuck with it. Um, but do they even give you any uh, trophy for difficulty? No, no, they no, don't. No, so I was just can't, no. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think they've done in a while. I think all places. God, God of War 2018 was the last game. Uh, well, you, that was the first game they, they they put that mandate in. You can't give out difficulty. Is it legitly? Oh, has it been confirmed? It's a legit mandate, yeah. or yeah. are we just like speculating? No, they they um the dude that do the trophy guys, PS Power, whatever the fuck his name is. He um mm-hmm. he showed the like actual letter that they sent the first party devs. You can only the only way you can add a difficulty related trophy, it has to be a DLC trophy. So it can't contribute to the platinum. You can't mm-hmm. you can't put difficulty related trophy. Ever since God of War twenty eighteen, that was the first game that uh. Had their mandate. I mean, part of me don't really see an issue, but at the same time, I've never been the kind of person that cares about like higher difficulties. Mm-hmm. I've always been a person like make the game generally difficult, like from software games. Like, I because to me, when you make those higher difficulties, the only thing they really do is okay, this dude's gonna do eight times more damage and he's gonna take six times less damage. And and to me, that's not making stuff harder. That's oh, yeah, yeah. artificially making it harder. And I've never really agreed well, some, on that. Some devs just don't know how to scale the shit. Like, i say a perfect example of somebody that made a game more difficult and it felt like they actually put the work in. Even though they on my shit list right now, Naughty Dog with The Last of Us Part Two. when you play that game on harder difficulties, bro, it, it feel like a totally different experience though like they definitely it ain't just like no okay now this dude a bullet sponge out of nowhere you die and fucking somebody fart on you you fucking die like it they ain't like 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 different and stuff yeah man it's it's crazy bro that, that, so, that's why like i know this is a, a place an xbox thing and we're talking a lot about playstation but this is like the time of the year they ain't really, it's not okay first off it's not mine and smooth's fault there's nothing xbox really related going on uh you know you guys need to talk to PlayStation because I mean, they're the ones I had the news this week. I mean, it is what it is. You know? yeah, yeah. But it, I, I guess to me personally, when it comes to that particular thing, I know like there's this giant like discussion going on on what's a bigger studio insomniac or, or naughty dog. And like, to me, I think insomniac is their best studio. They don't make their best games. I can agree. Like, I can like, agree like to that. me, it's Omniac's carrying PlayStation mm-hmm. by the bootstraps this year, uh, this this generation. generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Naughty Dog makes a game, I guarantee you, we all know that's going to be hit. It's it's going to be golden. It, it, and and to me, until they make a game that's on like the level of like an Uncharted or a Last of Us, even though they've made good games, I don't think they've made a, like a Last of Us. No, that's like that's pure game. facts. Well, and, if, and if, until they make the, that type of a game where it's just undeniable, I don't see them being which, making their best game. Which brings me to my next point. All right, but first, before I get to my next point, I do want to really because Asomniac finally responded to the leaks with a recent post three hours ago. Uh, they said, "Thank you for the outpouring of compassion and unwavering support." It's deeply appreciated. We're both saddened and angered about the recent criminal cyber attack on our studio and the emotional toll it's taken on our our dev team. We have focused inwardly for the last several days to support each other. We are aware that the stolen data includes personal information belonging to our employees, former employees and independent contractors. It also includes early development details about Marvel's Wolverine for the PlayStation 5. We continue working quickly to determine what data was impacted. This experience has been extremely distressing for us. We want everyone to enjoy the games we develop as intended and as our players deserve. However, like Logan, Insomniac Insomniac is resilient. Marvel's Wolverine continues as planned. The game is in early production and will no doubt greatly evolve throughout development, as do all our plans. Uh, 
While we appreciate everyone's enthusiasm, we will share official information about Marvel's Wolverine when the time is right. On behalf of everyone at Insomniac, thank you for ongoing support during this challenging time. Okay. This, if you guys notice a pattern, um, PlayStation's first party studios are, I feel like, are under attack. This happened with Naughty Dog in 2020. You know, when that's how the whole entire, you know, the script. Naughty Dog just got hacked a couple of months ago. Too. Yeah, but they but then they get hacked or something came out about the script. This is how we found out about Joel and everything, uh, like three, four months ahead of the game's yeah, yeah. launch. Yeah, people that, people that was working on the game, uh, some of the independent contractors leaked the game, some of the story beats and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and that's that's crazy. And um, because I think it, that came out literally after it got delayed. They delayed the game and then boom, all this stuff came out. Yep. Um, the thing about Insomniac, and we got to take a, a look at their roadmap, Jack. The first thing I got when I looked at their roadmap, I was like, okay, Insomniac is literally is turned into a Marvel game studios. How do you feel about their roadmap and their focus dedicated to, you know, Spider-Man, you know, Logan, Wolverine, and now X-Men, you know, essentially for the next 12 years? Um, I saw the Insomniac League roadmap, man. I'm going to be honest. I don't necessarily have a problem with it. My thing is this, right? Um... If they weren't doing this, they would probably actually just be making like Ratchet and Clank games if we being real. And I just recently replayed all the Ratchet and Clank games. Fun games, great games. Eh, it's the same shit. It's really the same shit since 2000 with better graphics, right? You might get a few different weapons. But my problem with Insomniac, while I do enjoy them as a dev and respect what they do, that's going to be my same problem with these Marvel games. Now, what I need to see from these Marvel games, I need to see... We know the stories probably be okay, but... I feel like and even looking from that Wolverine leaked footage, I did get Spider-Man vibes from that fucking gameplay, bro, as far as the traversal going. I'm not talking about the fighting and combat and all that, but as far as traversal going, it looked like a, a fucking Spider-Man skin. You know what I mean? You got the same, of course, you got like the same UI, uh, the little dots coming up on the screen where you could like uh, leak to different uh, fucking grappling points or whatnot. So I just need to see a differentiation in the gameplay. Other than that, I don't necessarily have a problem. You know what I mean? Most of the games are good. I'm not I'm not tripping. All right. So you want me to tackle that the same order, Smooth? Yeah, go ahead. Uh so as far as the making like nothing but Marvel games, it, I guess to me I'm looking at it like what's best for Sony and PlayStation. I feel like you saw how much money, like they wouldn't agree to a to numbers the way they're getting to Marvel unless they're making a lot of money doing it. Uh, so you know, to me, if you know the studio, if people sign up to work with him, Sonic, they're make, they're, they're going to be working on some of the the most iconic characters they grew up with. So like, I don't think no one there is really having issues with it. Um, I believe that those are going to generate a lot of income for PlayStation going forward so they can actually, you know, get the double A stuff that we want that they stop making. You know, if they make that extra money, they would they'll probably make more money off Marvel than they ever made off anything else like they've ever done. Oh, absolutely. And, and I'm okay with that because I want what's best for 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 PlayStation. Uh when it comes to, you know, I actually have a different approach. I actually feel like Wolverine kind of takes a little bit of Spider-Man and Last of Us and puts it together. And like right now, what I see, because I know there's a lot of like speculation. Can you really judge this game off of this pre-alpha? I do think there's certain aspects that you can. Uh, the way Wolverine's moving for the most part, you know, the the camera angle, the the how they're approaching combat, you can definitely criticize that because I don't see that changing. You know, the, the way the game is going to feel playing, they might make it better, but it's going to be this gameplay. Like, people are acting like they're going to go from this type of gameplay that we see them doing, and they're just going to, okay, now we're going to make it a first-person shooter. That's not how development works. <laughs> what you're seeing is the foundation of the game, and they're going to build everything around it. And, and you could definitely criticize that. And I know a lot of people, and I don't know how you feel, Jack, but 
They w- they wanted Wolverine to feel more fast paced. I felt like he was pretty fast in this in the alpha stuff. Like I actually liked what I saw. But how, how do you feel in terms of people saying you know they wanted probably more of like an Origins or I even saw someone say like more of a Devil May Cry type of gameplay. Like how how do you approach mm. that? Uh, I didn't really have too much of an issue with the uh the combat that I saw. I'm I'm with you on that. Like it looked cool. You know what I mean? It looked um. It just it looked right, you know what I mean. When I think of a Wolverine game, I would think it'd play like some shit like they show. Like, uh, of course, it's early alpha footage, but uh, as far as that, I don't think like with all the leaks, bro. Like, I, I feel like the game is is coming along fine. You know what I mean. My biggest issue with this Wolverine joint is that the the, the reported release date, like they targeting like damn near the end of twenty twenty six with this joint. We ain't looks- even in twenty twenty four yet. Like, god damn. You know what's funny? Uh, you can ask Smooth. I've been like people have been attacking me for a while because I said if you guys are expecting Wolverine anytime soon, you you don't know. Like like I, I knew that game was not next year. It wasn't the year after. Remember how many people flipped out on me when I said that smooth? Yeah, yeah. It's like nah, like people people acting like just because Naughty Dog was able to take assets from like the Spider Man games, make uh, you know, I wouldn't. Would you guys consider Ratchet and Clank like a huge, huge project? No. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't consider it like I consider it like double A right there at the beginning of triple A. If that makes sense to you guys, like I, it's, I it's would a glorified expect, double A game. It's a glorified. Yeah, I would a expect game. something like Last of Us to be like the deepest zones you can go into triple A. But I would expect uh, Ratchet and Clank to be that that right below. Like here's triple A, here's double A. And it's like right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. So it's like it's a lot easier to to make something like a Ratchet Clank Rift Apart, and then because you've put done a lot of work from previous Spider Mans, you can take those pre existing assets, tweak them, look them look better, and use those for your for your next games. Every developer does this. It's easier to turn around and do stuff like this because and. Once again, you know, Insomniac's a well-oiled machine. They know what they're doing. Uh, they're very efficient at what they're doing. They they don't take as, as long making stuff. But at the same time, Wolverine, they're going to have to do newer assets for certain things. Because, first off, they never made a Wolverine outfit. Never made a costume for Wolverine. they probably generally going to have to make different assets to where he is, how he moves, different animations. How hard do you think it was to change the animation from Peter Parker and make it Miles? They had the animation. They had to just change out what looks. That's true. That's true. I think, but uh, even going to what you're saying, though, the fact that all these games are like, I guess you're saying, the Marvel Universe, mm-hmm. and, like they, it's going to be some overlap. They definitely going to be asset flipping. Like, yeah, absolutely. that's fine. Absolutely. I, everyone has it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to get a lot of that. In that leak, they confirmed a Venom release, right? It, before Wolverine. Yeah, next year. Yeah, so that's going to be essentially the Miles Morales uh, yeah. to what Spider Man, to Miles Morales was 2022 20, years after Spider Man. So, yeah, I can see that. And they let us taste with the gameplay. You know, when, we, when I was playing as Venom in Spider Man 2, I thought this was a tease of what the Incredible Hawk will uh play like you know with all the leaping and and, and the size yeah. the scale and stuff i was like okay so they probably just secured a hog deal but <laughs> nonetheless uh they secured you know no an x-men deal uh and they got these they, they got this is just as xbox obviously this is playing xbox so this is important to us as that's what i because this these are marvel ips we do not have access to and will not have access to under the Xbox, uh, I can't stand when my phone records everything I'm saying and tries to send it as a text message. But um, we have uh, you got Spider Man, Wolverine, Venom, and now X Men completely gone to 2035. And this, if I was reading those numbers correctly, I don't know if you saw this. This was like a 600 million dollar deal between PlayStation and um, Marvel. Um, I don't know if you peeped that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's an expensive deal. I mean, it's it's Marvel. Like, they that's what I'm bad. saying. P- yeah. PlayStation knows they wouldn't agree to that type of arrangement if mm-hmm. they knew they weren't going to get that money back. And, uh, and the reason that they're making that kind of investment is because Spider Man 
in Spider-Man 2 has been so lucrative for them. Yeah. And, and Miles, Mor- uh, Miles uh, Morales. Uh, the thing is, uh, I wanted to point out a lot of people were highlighting that, you know, the deal like each game has to sell six million in order f- in order for them to retain the licensing exclusive, which is obviously is, is it's not impossible. But a lot of people are also putting that same. They think that's the same agreement that Microsoft and Xbox have with Bethesda for Blade. Um and I would say it's similar. I don't think so. You know why? Why do you not think so? Because we're going into a streaming service. It's go, yeah, the thing is, they're not going to sit there and make a deal well, that they no, know they so, can't hit, right? The, 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 I, I didn't say in terms of like how many how many would sell. I would talk about how much finances. that Because at the end of the day, all that is, is we want this X amount of money. We're going to get it from selling copies. I think Xbox most likely gave them more money up front, not necessarily in the back end. Yeah, like so I don't think you know there's a mandate on how much Blade has to sell for Xbox to retain. I think no, there's definitely a mandate. No, it no, might for, not no, be a mandate for how much million. they said. No, 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 because think about this. You gotta, the thing is, when they go into that deal, that's a relatively new deal. They go into that deal already owning Microsoft already owning Zenimax with Microsoft already having the um game pass in place. So the thing is, they know what they can and cannot do. So, like, the thing is, they're not going to sign a deal that's impossible for them to maintain. So, I don't think they go, especially think about Blade. Uh, X-Men, Spider-Man, they are more lucrative. They're highly valued, more valued than what Blade is. That's just off the rip. They're, they're, they're more and expensive all that's going to mean is that all that's going to mean is the expectations that they have on uh, on Xbox in terms of Blade is going to be lower than the expectations so, that... They have with PlayStation, but there's still expectations. There's no way. I'm not saying there's no expectations. I don't think they have a sell mandate. Hold up. Hold up. There's no way they didn't say, yo, make a Blade game. We have no expectations of what you should sell. They they went to them and gave them, okay, this is what we expect you to be in terms of market by this amount of time. And we expect this amount of sales based off that market. That's why it would be different than what PlayStation, because that market would be bigger. PlayStation has a multi-game deal. We don't know if my so I don't think they put but, they, a, but it's going it's they, they're going, not these aren't umbrella deals. So you hold on, hold on, hold on, these hold on, are hold on. umbrella deals. So you you honestly think that that Disney's like pay me whatever you want to. No, <laughs> no. The, the Disney probably gave them the cost uh, if Microsoft can't hit, they probably gave them a cost and they probably, they still got money out of it, but I don't think the thing is that so, the it's all about getting money. So if Disney says, you know, I can get if I can get for example, let's just say I can get 500 million from Microsoft for a one game license agreement and um versus and, and get this much off of multi games from Sony, they probably make more from Microsoft off that one game than they did from Sony. That's why I don't think they have they all size me soft. The thing is PlayStation is asking for a long term deal that exceeds ten years and multiple games. So yeah, so they they, 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 are, they need royal, that. that's royalties that they're asking for. I don't think Blade is under the same agreement to the point where oh well you have it, to sell five million to, re- to retain this uh, agreement. So wait I a minute, disagree. hold on, hold on. I, so, I don't think. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I'm gonna say if if you if if smooth the way smooth is approaching it, if it's only a one game deal anyway, it's nothing to retain, right? Because I mean, at that point, you know what I mean. I guess you could renegotiate afterwards, mm-hmm. depending on how I do, but. I mean, if it's no, only a one, I, a one I'm off, talking like. about internal expectations. They have those regardless what they're going to do because right now it might just be a one game, but they have internal expectations that they want met if we want to continue to have this conversation to expand. This yeah, but they haven't written in Sony that you have to sell this to maintain a license, like a, a number, a fixed number, six million in sales. I mean, you, you might like, be right on that, think, but here's I don't the think thing. Microsoft has that but type he, of deal. He, he, here's the thing. If Microsoft doesn't have a set expectations on what they want, they paid more for the license. Yeah, but they also has less lucrative license with Blade no, well, that, and Indiana what, that, Jones. I, and I get that, but th- that's just off of the popularity of the icon. It has nothing to do with the sell. It's like, okay, you know, we think Spider-Man's worth this much. And we're going to take that through licensing PlayStation. You pay a little up front, and we'll take a little bit from every game to make up for the difference. When it comes to Xbox, we think Blade's worth this much. And then I believe, 
and I think this is where me and you disagree, that Xbox is like, we'll pay more of it up front and you'll take less of it in the back end of the deal. Mm. So I got this is this is interesting, right? Because I do want to ask y'all, um, even with this roadmap coming out, Smooth bring up a good point. Do you think, and it's still early on, so we you might not even be able to really talk about this. Do mm-hmm. you think that there is a, a a pathway to where Marvel does give Xbox more IPs? And and secondly, yes. do you think do you think it's gonna be all like a, a Bethesda thing, or do you think they're gonna because Microsoft got a lot of developers. What, what y'all thinking with that? I think Microsoft will lever or uh, will leverage or Zenimax. The thing is, they since they act uh, as their own, Zenimax secured the deal with Blade and Indiana Jones. Activision has just as much power and pull to secure since they've had these deals before. You no, know, you know the relationship probably got was a little bit muddy under Bobby Kotick, but now that they they're cool with Zenimax, they're cool with Microsoft. They can get these deals. And remember, it was Microsoft that had to go to Disney to renegotiate the Indiana Jones deal. So there is a relationship there. I think um, because Disney will be because Disney's bleeding. They're, They're losing money. So they need the gaming industry and all these other publishers to offset the money they're losing on the bat on the films and and on the parks they have to get that money elsewhere so they're more open to selling because there's always rumors of disney selling they have to get uh money so that's why everybody was able to dip their hands in the pot between square enix ubisoft uh microsoft has publishers that can dip in the pot microsoft can grab something that, uh zenimax already grabbed two and i think there's a third that's they haven't um mentioned yet um that that zenimax has Activision has access to that same pull. And I think it will be very smart or I would, if I'm Microsoft seeing that roadmap and knowing that, okay, X-Men and Spider-Man and Venom, obviously that's a Sony IP anyway, are all under Sony. What's left? You got, you got a few options. You know what I mean? You got Captain America, you got, Iron Man, you have Black Panther, you have all these. It, it would be smart of Xbox to the Zenimax. Uh, you already got your games. Activision, let's get your games and we'll grab uh, uh, some games. Um, it, it opens the door for them. Do I think Microsoft is ambitious enough, enough to do it, to strike a deal like that with Marvel and Disney? I'm not sure. Is is Black uh, Panther still on? They got two Black Panther games coming out already, though. They they, really? they 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 do. Is it still? I'm just uh, throwing something out there. And, like I think you they they more in line with like they got. If I'm Microsoft, you got to capitalize on. You got to go for Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. Don't let mm-hmm. don't let Sony get the entire uh, the the Avengers. They got X Men. They they got us plot line because X Men and Spider Man did have interactions. Shit, I'll fucking take Hawk and fuck up that storyline. Not, not, I mean, I know it sounds bad, but like Hawk has also a connection with X Men and and, and Spider Man through the Avengers. Yeah, so, the yeah they, the they, they they all. So if I'm Microsoft to not get shunned out of that universe. They have to do something unless they want to do keep everything like off brand and, and do shit with like Blade. Who's Punisher? Is that Marvel as well or DC? Not as Marvel. It's, unless they want to, you know, fuck around, and just do the stuff that isn't too heavily into that universe and the cheaper versions, which wouldn't make sense. And that would be, you know, Punisher, Blade, maybe Deadpool. I don't know if he's really in that um, a universe uh, with them. I think, I think it just depends on what they make from Blade. Because uh, I don't think they're going to have a whole lot of expectations off of Indiana Jones. I think probably one of the reasons that they made sure Indiana Jones was an exclusive because it was already being made. So it made more mm. sense to push for that one. But if they're not, if Blade isn't a financial success, I highly doubt they go after any more. Well, they went for a least popular character, right? Now, I mean, we we all obviously respect uh, Blade and stuff like that, but just from from the masses standpoint of the masses, everybody know who Spider Man is. A lot of people don't even know Blade is a Marvel character. Um, I agree with that. So the thing is, is that if if they're banking on it to be a huge financial push, no, then they picked the wrong IP. They were supposed to go after an equivalent to like a, a Spider Man. You got to get at least one of the top three, top four characters, um, and, and they didn't and do I think that. That's, that's- that's as to what their expectations are. If they have unrealistic expectations because 
of it just being a, a superhero character, and then that's Xbox and Marvel's fault for not negotiating a better deal. Okay. Mm. Uh, so obviously this Insomniac leak, you know, led to a lot of things. We learned that, you know, uh, the, the profitability, I don't know if any, how legit is any of this stuff, but we know Spider-Man and shit is doing their job. Uh, we saw what uh, some of these PC ports are doing, uh, PlayStation PC ports are doing, um, and the success of that. Jack, I know you had some comments on that. What did that reveal to you, uh, PlayStation first party IPs going to PC and how they're performing? Uh, see, the, the problem with this, man, I don't know how current those numbers are. I'm hearing they was from, like, 2022. If those numbers are current, though, they're fucking abysmal. They're no not way current, around. but I would I say they're... I wouldn't say they're, like, double or anything, but they are higher than they are on that paper. Uh, I mean, at this point, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Me, personally, y'all already know I wouldn't have went with this strategy, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and some else that came out in the leaks, you know... I always thought the move was, you know, put PS Plus or PS Now on PC, different platforms, and get people to come to your main box, the main console, right? Have a streaming situation. They trying to get in the cloud, right? Have cloud gaming on PC. If you like what you see, come on over to the PlayStation. But now that they've, they've, uh, you know, they went to putting things on there natively. I don't see I don't see a lane to where somebody's going to get on some fucking remote play on PC. I wouldn't do it personally. So um, the sales, the sales are the sales, man. They saying it don't cost that much to put them on there. You know, people always like to return on investment. People love to crank that term. So, hey, man, if they satisfied with it, man, I ain't got no issue, bro. All right. No, fair enough. Um, we also see and you spoke on this earlier. Um PlayStation's uh, outlook, their their new d- 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 to be essentially everywhere, mobile streaming, um, PC uh, platform, their multi-platform agenda. A lot of people look at this and they, you know, they they chuckle. A lot of people see the same if Xbox, who says the same exact thing, but people take it as it means something totally different, you know. We saw Xbox, you know, multi-platform, you know, plan what they want to do and all the, the, the talking points they say. And everybody says Xbox is going third party. They're going to be, you know, on PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever. They're going to leave the console business. PlayStation's roadmap or their plan, their business plan get exposed and the language is awfully familiar. Um, I should know because I have to damage control this. I, well, I used to damage control this shit for Microsoft all the uh all the time but it doesn't mean the same and i just want to know when you saw those i'm I'm assuming you saw it um what did that mean to you um i'm with you uh i think like i said behind closed door you know they put out this facade and this is the this is the thing people are getting confused right now i know when they originally announced ps now this was the goal right this was the goal to but like i said a second ago all that shit was streaming, bro. Now they they went to not only are we doing the streaming thing, we're gonna put the games on there natively. The gap is not widening between releases. If anything, it's getting shorter. On top of them hopping off into the games as a service situation, so you know those have to launch day and date to have any chance of surviving with a player base. So now we move. We're we're, we're going into the realm of they're, they're teasing day and date, right? Half the games are gonna have it anyway if not all the games and and it's native like so the only and i think smooth said this on twitter the only difference the only difference in strategies is that playstation don't want to put their triple a games day and date in ps now that is the i mean or ps plus which is ps now that's the only difference is their strategy on how they release their first party games playstation still want to have the shit day one on pc they still want to have the shit they just don't want it on ps plus day one that's the only main difference bro so that's why I, that's when i see stuff like that that's why i say i won't be surprised and you know people's making fun of microsoft in 2027 they're gonna be third party that might be you're gonna be laughing this shit right but what you gonna do when you turn around in 2027 and playstation third party too you know what i'm saying so it's like it ain't it's the same shit bro yeah and they they, they show reports of uh you know them testing games uh in ps plus uh to prove uh why it they shouldn't go all in and, and again i'm not you know, I understand everyone method the first party. Personally, when I speak about like Game Pass and day one and 
subscription. I'm speaking from a consumer state of mind. Like I, I don't care how much money Microsoft loses to please me at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like that, that's not my concern. So uh, I feel like there's a lot of people like, you know, coming at me or coming at us when they see these numbers, you see, they already proved it. Like, you know what I mean? This is that. And third, this is why they're not going to do that. I was like, so you're celebrating the fact that PlayStation's not giving you cheaper access to their games by you subscribing to their services. Okay. I mean, if that's what you want, you know what I mean? To benefit whatever PlayStation does, then uh, kudos to you. If you're, you're happy about that. Um, this, this leak to me, like, revealed a lot um and at the end of the day is this like i don't know what playstation can do playstation can't do no wrong and um the only thing that is and i guess it's because it was just playstation and insomniac what's going on you know in the year coming you know it looks like there's going to be a lot of you know marvel ips between you know 25 uh, to, you know, 2030 or whatever. Uh, but what's going on next or this coming year? But Bro. what's going to happen? That's what I didn't, I was looking for. I was looking for the leak. that was something that reveals like, all right, what's going on in 2024? Like, I feel like a lot of games they had planned when Jim Ryan left, they got delayed. I mean, it's pretty much confirmed. Jason Schreier reported on, I have never known Jason Schreier to lie ever. So, uh, reportedly there were what 12 games as a service. I, I, I the, sometimes I hear 10, sometimes I hear two. let's just say 10. It's 10 games of service, 12 games of service. Half of those were either canceled completely or delayed heavily. And that those dev teams either are uh still working on them games of service, but they're delayed or they're rebooting and starting development on a whole new project, right? And most of these studios were working on multiple games because also. Uh, rumoredly, there's a mandate at PlayStation that you have to be working on some type of MMO, I mean, not MMO, but a games as a service, multiplayer game. And Somnac even leaked that they was working on a Spider-Man online game, right? That's either canceled or delayed right now. So, I, what's going on next year? Uh, all this shit is rumors and speculation, but a lot of this shit you can put the two and two together, bro. Uh, PlayStation has been reaching out to second party devs. You can already see it. They bought the exclusivity for... um stellar blade they they got the rise of the Rona situation so they definitely leaning heavy on second party games um going forward and to go back to something real quick smooth the problem with with people bragging and boasting and i said this the other day bro even with all these historic sales and whatnot also in the leaks if you look at it they want to fire a portion of every single sony first party dev because they cannot financially support having these sizable teams and they want to close more studios so at the end of the day is them not putting the games on the streaming service really benefiting them because clearly you know what i mean spider-man making two three hundred million dollars it's still not enough they still trying to fire motherfuckers right so it's like come on bro yeah there was uh you know pressure for them to reduce and they said they, they, they said they weren't looking at it for them to do it in like in any games or any subpar releases they want to reduce the staff and this is they're talking to one of their most successful studios who've been producing the most in the last uh exactly. five years um and they ain't safe they not even safe that's crazy. that which is crazy uh they also there was a report of one of the studios shutting down did they ever reveal which studio that it's going to be well some people saying it was pixel opus because that like some of this shit is old right mm -hmm. all this stuff is not new information oh, it's yeah, new true, to us. they did shut down a studio that happened yeah that yeah, happen yeah. Already. So, so some of this shit is not up to date current you know what i mean so we don't know if that's old news they already shut down the studio if it's new shit we don't know we don't know yeah i the sad part about it is like if you look at like the the morale is like probably very shitty at it in sony yeah because it's like not only do we got to worry about these leaks now people know that you know we've had a fight for our jobs how successful we've been keep in mind some of these are old so there's a good chance that the financial thing there's a good chance these people got laid off already and we just didn't know it so it, it, it's just like yeah, yeah. it sucks that it's one thing to downsize a studio when their title wasn't as successful as you thought it's a, it was it's another thing to still downsize even though you have one of the most successful games of the year it, it, it shows you that you know maybe 
all these developers and stuff came out to saying that you know the, the cost of games keep going up and up and the cost of games for us on you know uh, a financial standpoint it has been staying same besides the ten dollar uh upcharge relatively for like the past 10 years maybe they are onto something you know maybe we're we have to either pay more or they have to find their way to do a better budget now i think what they spent what 350 million on spider-man 2 uh something like that it, it costs more than goddamn. damn i think spider-man um, 2 was like 256 million or three no or that's the no 303 303 I think there's a couple things wrong with this. One thing, I'm curious how much of that money was spent on marketing and not just the game. I wish they would split them. You know what I'm saying? How much did you spend on the actual game and how much did you spend on marketing? Because a lot of the times it's either close or they're spending more on marketing. Mm -hmm. So Marketing is really expensive for video games for no reason, but go ahead, my bad. Yeah, so I'm just sitting here like, and another thing, corporate greed. You know, we're not happy with making millions and millions and millions of dollars in profits anymore. We want to make 10%, 20% more next quarter. So it's just like, I think we're getting to the point where you've milked the industry as much as you possibly can now. And now where you're not seeing this growth to to keep your investors and stuff happy, what is the other options you have? Well, they're not going to cut anyone that is giving them voting power because that's what's important to these these companies. How can you get stuff thrown across? If you have voting power at these companies, you are safe. But a lot of these people don't. So the normal folks, the normal people making these games, they're the ones that get punished mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, important people in these companies, they're not going nowhere because, you know, they, they have a lot of power. So it's like, okay, you know, You've already done your job. Look at what just happened with Bungie. It's like, okay, you already done your job when it comes to producing the sound of Final Shape. You're out of here. It's like, okay, so you, that's my reward for sitting through your company through the 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 goods and bads for all this time. You're going to get rid of me. And, and I do think that people aren't talking about the biggest issue in this. Why would anyone else knew that makes games come in this industry from software development. I mean, you could look, it's a industry, man. You, you, you could see how many people got laid off this year, how disrespectful the layoffs were. People right now in college mm -hmm. looking into what industry they want to get into, what can make them the most money. And keep in mind, people in the gaming industry that develop all these games, they get paid dirt cheap as it is compared to the other industries to do software engineering to a degree. So it's just like, why would they come? So you know what's going to happen? You're going to have more people leaving this industry than coming in this industry. And the before you know it, it's going to shoot all of the prices on everything because when you have less people, what you have to do? You have to pay the remaining pay people more. here yeah. more money. Well, that, was, that was also in the leaks. Apparently, even though they just raised prices of games three mm -hmm. years ago, yeah. within the next three to four years, they're planning on raising the price of games upwards of, if not 80 to $100. That's that was also in the leak. And it's just it's one of those things, man. Like I don't. It's way above my pay rate. I couldn't even begin to tell you a way to fix it. It's so way my, above my, my pay thing rate. is, what if games? You know, if a major player raises the price of games, you know, other players follow. You know what I mean? A PlayStation do it. You know, two K is going to be soon to follow. Act well, uh, Activision. I could. I can see it have this move. I, and you know the perfect candidate to do this and get away with it. We all know GTA 6. Yeah. It hey, if G and this is the fucked up part about it as, as gamers, bro. We stuck. Who who in here right now? Which one of y'all would not buy GTA 6 at a hundred dollars if it launched at their price? I'm buying it. <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't. It. Yeah. I mean, I, you wouldn't? Shit, I would. Yeah. Well, it's just like, like I've always liked GTA, but GTA 5 yeah, was the but first GTA. GTA Oh, you just not a big fan like that. Like, well, it, it's it's not even just that. I didn't play the online, and I felt like in order, I I would still probably buy it, but not for a hundred dollars. I would probably wait for a sale in that case. Because it, it's just like when you look at the standpoint, it's like, am I really supposed to buy something that I'm going to play the single player and move on? Because I'm not going to play the multiplayer like that. And I was really excited for GTA Five because I thought I was going to see some form of a you know a single player expansion at some point in time they made all that money and they didn't 
So it's just like, I know that's probably going to happen this time. And if I'm not playing the multiplayer, do I really need to be there day one? I don't know, especially for a mm-hmm. hundred bucks. By then, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of games to play. So it's just, I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that I would never do it. it I could say that now, but coming down to it, the, the hype might get me because I, mm-hmm. it's, you know, hype gets us all. But a hundred dollars is a lot, especially if, no, if, is, you buy, if you buy collector's edition. We're talking about the standard walk in the door hundred. Collector's edition at least three, four hundred dollars, easy. That's true. I, you know what? And I, I'm part of the problem too, because I, I I talk about this shit. But like, if it's a game I'm looking forward to or a game I want to play, like Spider Man is a perfect example, right? Spider Man Two. I bought the the digital deluxe edition. You know what I mean? That was that was damn near ninety dollars in itself, right? Mm-hmm. So, I you know these devs, they know what they see. They see the metrics. The they thing, know what they can get away with, bro. Here's the thing, though, Jack. You can't blame yourself. You you you're in a passion. You're in a hobby. Obviously the people in here like we get our hobbies turned into like semi semi of a job so but they got us from a content creation standpoint Mm -hmm. and they got us from a passion and a hobby standpoint like we're the ones being taken advantage of not the other way around like it's it's like when people want to say you know should addicts be punished or should you know people that get uh, uh, that, that get fat get punished. It's like they're the ones that put them in there. It's like, but at the end of the day, should America push this image so much? Mm. It's like you know, I'm never gonna blame the consumer for being hype. I that's why I never say don't pre-order because it's like it's not my job to make sure that they're decent companies and not taking advantage of us. I can't, I can't, I can't argue that. That is that is definitely true. It's to me. Blaming us for our actions when they're the ones that push us towards those actions is taking is taking all the accountability away from them. It's easy just to instead of blaming the companies that taking advantage of us, we looking at each other and pointing it at each other. It's it's definitely a mismanagement problem in the industry too, though. Mm-hmm. That you mentioned it because like it, it, it's no way in hell you raise the prices of games, they selling more than ever, and you still telling me it's not sustainable. So that means you're doing something wrong, bro. No, it's it's not about doing nothing wrong. They're making more money. Now, keep in mind, like right now, they're wanting more money every quarter. So that's fine between this quarter and now. But if you're wanting a ten to twenty to thirty percent increase between now and next quarter, mm-hmm. and you want that thing again yeah. the following quarter, yeah, it's, it's you're, it's you're, you're just it's raising great. it over yeah. and over again. And sooner or later, you have milked as much as you could possibly milk. Yeah, that's a problem with uh, games, right? And even like um, movies. Is the thing is they're not producing enough to make to meet these quarterlies or set up these quarterly. Uh, uh, increases in revenue and stuff like that. You release a game, the majority of its sales want to happen within its first, what, month? And then it's, it's down here from then. So what you do, you focus on what multiplayer games and service and, and try to create some sort of um, uh, a game that pretty much pays itself. Uh, you but you know those have a high failure quick, rate. Smooth. Those have a high you failure how, rate. Go ahead. You know how I know this is issue? Sorry if I interrupted you. Um, Look at Fortnite. Fortnite's the most successful game in history, besides maybe like Minecraft or Tetris. And they're still laying people off. Because it's last crazy. quarter we made 20 billion. Next quarter we want 22. And we ain't making that. Yeah, now, that's a that's a, mass yeah, numbers. but that but that, yeah, but that's a, exactly true. That's the a company like Epic shouldn't be laying off anybody ever. And that's the thing. And again, it all, it also a management problem because the thing is games are the thing I hate about this with every generation is like the technology is getting better, but it takes it's taking longer to produce games, bro. It's taking way too long to make games and they're becoming way too expensive. And it's like, all right, scale back. Where does all this money going into? I feel like somebody in the industry is getting ripped off. For it to be, somebody has to be getting yeah, ripped off. The, the consumers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every everyone making money, but us. Like, Man, and that's why, enough. like, I, I I was vocal at the beginning of, you know, when we were talking about. I feel like the industry is taking advantage of influencers because if you've noticed, mm-hmm. you know, people say, well, why ain't people advertising as much on TV? Because it's everyone. Mm-hmm. It's all the industry. And that you know why? Because they're looking at us as, as oh, we spent. We spent what a hundred million last quarter. I think the 
These these thousands, these thousands of influencers, most of them just, we give them the game, they're good. We don't gotta spend a penny. Like Yep. Yeah. Cheap. <laughs> Very cheap. Um Okay, so I mean, I mean, this is uh no, it's been a good discussion. I'm trying to think, Attic. Uh what else I'm I'm missing? Like I said, there was a lot that came out, obviously, the whole situation with um we could talk about whether or not Blade's gonna be exclusive. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I mean, that I, I mean, we didn't do the show last week because of my birthday and your girl's birthday. So mm-hmm. we didn't talk about Blade. I thought Blade was that happened. Like I, we might have. I, I don't remember. I think talking we about it. we missed the. Yeah, did y'all talk of, about the Game Awards? Yeah, because that was a part of the Blade conversation that all happened around the same time. Yeah. Okay. The, well, how, the, what's the, the time right when's now? The, last, the last of us I felt like happened immediately after that. The cancellations of the yeah, last we could of talk us. About, we could talk about that because Jack's here. Might as well. Yeah, like so that all right, so <laughs> I watched uh your Are We Live and you put up a clip of I live of, for your Are We Live. Of various clips way, Pre- appreciate that, of brother. them doing uh they had the announcement of the you know the uh the show. They had the announcement of the game, and that's when they announced that, like, hey, you're going to see more next year. You know, the multiplayer is going to have its own story. It's going to take place in another city. Um, and this was all in 2022, where we were gearing up to see it in 2023. Yep. Yep. And um, we got that infamous concept photo. Um, and then I think maybe, maybe four or five months after that, we got the bungee interference report and uh they consulted and they said you know they're going back to the you know drawing board i said in the video i don't know if anybody watched it it was like one of my second videos of me coming back i said this i feel like i think i don't think bungee though had the game canceled i think bungee pretty much told them what they need uh to do to sustain it and the team at Naughty Dog said, fuck that. And that's oh. it, it, and it just finally got dried out. I feel like that day, with that meeting that they had with Bungie is when once they learned what they had to do to sustain what they were looking to do. Because I feel like they probably had high ambition. You know, these guys at Naughty Dog are, are perfectionists, right? And I felt like they had probably had a quality product. It would have been, you know, a, a decent game, but they got their head so swolled up on the game, just like how I get so pissed off on how Halo turned out, they get their heads so swelled up on supporting the games as a service model, and they realize the the time, the money, and they have to find a way to monetize it. They said, fuck it, and they gave up. What is your take? Um, It's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just sad, bro. I was, I was so much looking forward to this game, bro. You know, we 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 sat here for three years and waited, you know, waiting for an update to factions. Like, are we ever going to get it? And, you know, they, they came out last year and said, you know, we know we didn't give it to y'all, but it's going to be even better. It's going to be even grander, more amazing. Like, oh, shit, like. Damn, they really making like games of service, story mode, and all. Oh man, they just can't wait. And then you know, th- what kills me about this whole thing is they said we were so ambitious, right? We were so ambitious. It's the most fun game we ever played. But us wanting to do so much, we just not gonna do anything. It's like what the fuck, <laughs> huh? Okay, well fuck me, I guess, right? Just bro, this is crazy to me, right? And they was working on concepts for the factions too since twenty fourteen, right? Since 2014, when Last of Us Remastered came out, they immediately started working on Last of Us Part 2 and Faction. So this is nine years on and off of development, right? So it's like all the money, revenue, time wasted is crazy on one end. The fact we never going to get the fucking game on the other end, bro. And like as far as this bungee shit go, bro, Naughty Dog. See, this is what I understand about Naughty Dog. I love Naughty Dog multiplayer games, bro, but they have never, they're actually notorious for not being able to support it longer than, you know, five, six months, right? They might do one one update of as far as content and then they go on with it, bro. So this is my thing with this games of service initiative, bro. All these devs, they might not make games, they know what the fuck a games of service is, right? So how did you not know going in? That you was gonna have to support this game long term. I don't. I don't understand that. Can I interrupt you? I know why. Hey, what's up? 
uh, because six months ago, Jim Ryan was part of the company and the whole company is pushing towards games as a service, but then they restructured and no longer are they trying to pay for uh, Naughty Dog to do that. Because in order to do this correctly, you would have to upscale. You would have to to hire a lot more people to you know to let them be able to do their single player thing and still have a good portion of the studio supporting factions. But the problem is, is one Bungie probably went in there. I don't think Bungie got them canceled. I think Bungie probably had like a a little notebook. Okay, I think this isn't going to do well. This isn't going to do well. Even though they're doing horribly, Bungie's probably the best people, one of the best people to ask questions like this. It's like I think that monetization wise this doesn't make sense and then when they wanted to uh, went to playstation and gave that to them when they went back uh last of us uh, Na- uh naughty dog just didn't have any correct answers so i think you know they're like okay go so, back to the board and then when when jim ryan left they're like oh we're no longer pushing this hardcore that's why they canceled all those games as a service we're going to go back to what we do and then man, unfortunately i might- when, and the naughty dog they, they had they have a uh uh they have a team specifically dedicated to online though you see what i'm saying Attic? Mm-hmm. so it's like they couldn't have kept working on the game yeah my, my we, question we don't but see the thing is is a game that probably was ambitious as them probably required more than than that team. see this is why i have a whole problem with the cancellation of the thing a couple i have a couple problems with it right naughty dog has released last of us part one with uh, what two, three times since three, then? Time. three times, three right? Time. So the original game obviously had the multiplayer, and the remaster had the multiplayer. You could have released part one with the multiplayer, the same multiplayer, but just with a little bit of tidbits of what you were trying to do, and the other enhance it a little bit, add a little bit more, right? It, that's how you tease it, right? That's all we wanted, yeah. that's all we wanted, though. So, uh, Last of Us Part Two could have been the same thing, could have been a little por- you know, a portion here, or there, right? And you got to release a re. Master of the board. That's another opportunity to throw in what a, a portion of what your multiplayer plans are. Or I think they're going to do that. Do I don't know if it'll, I don't think it will be this, but I do think they're eventually going to, uh, you know, take the skeleton of factions and give it to a a, a, a future game. Maybe Last of Us Three, because in order to do that, it take a lot of time. I don't think. They're willing to put that kind of time into it right now. Yeah, but the thing is, they had so many years and resources to do it because they they're already working with it. One, they already have the and, game. And I feel you, but if you got to look at it from like their standpoint, they had all this. They had years because Sony was allowing them to have years. Sony's not pushing that direction. But anymore. they released the so Sony, game three times already, and they just keep oh, taking and, and, features and get, out. And, and I get that, but at the same time. If your whole company was going towards this direction and then they decide to turn the other way around and they cut the faucet off, what fund are you going to use to All do right. it? Why not, why not do what uh, Activision did with Warzone, what 343 did with Halo uh, Infinite multiplayer, or what Epic did with Fortnite? Throw it out there as a beta and see how people react to it and then update with with them like most developers do with multiplayer games these motherfuckers aren't known for making multiplayer player games to that degree why not release we, it as a beta early access and let the community pretty much assist you building the final product until you get 1.0 i i, I feel you but i feel you but that also takes time and money I, they ain't and, waste and, enough in nine years and I get that, but it'd be different if we didn't have some drastic change with PlayStation. Jack, would you not agree that PlayStation has drastically changed the direction of their company, the way they were going to go with Jim Ryan? Like, crazy. Like, they canceled mad projects, like, uh, de-sized the whole, all across the board. I think like, they were, they're trying to revert a lot of shit Jim Ryan had in place. I can see that. Yeah, and, and, and I personally feel... The PlayStation, like, look, we done gave you three years. We're not doing that no more. You had your opportunity. I'm shutting the faucet off. Go make the shit that makes us money. That's going to take another four or five years because the thing is, is that it's it's not like we're going to see anything from Naughty Dog in the next. You think we're going to see something from Naughty Dog in the next three years? They, they supposedly got two more games in development right now. So Last of Us Part Three is, of course, one of them, and then I guess whatever new IP they was working on. I don't think they're coming out. No, I don't think they're gonna be in a showable form <laughs> within the next two or three years. Absolutely not. I doubt it. I, I really do. I, I think they should have done like some sort of like beta of what they got uh, now, whatever concepts. Like dudes do it all the time. 
That's how all these other games just became popular out of nowhere. Apex took some concept they had with Titanfall 3. It didn't pan out to Titanfall 3. It became some multiplayer phenomenon. Epic took their failed ass Fortnite game and copied PUBG and threw it out as a beta. People fell in love with it. PUBG was a beta for the longest time. Um, And Halo Infinite, like they, they wore it short. Like they were testing out this game as a service thing and they just released halo multiplayer and and they were able to hone in to what they want to do see if thieves they freaking rare never did no massive multiplayer game they just threw out a blank canvas and, and saw and what I, happened and, and shit happens i feel you on that but i i and i, I want jack's opinion on this jack to, to place a, xbox allowed them the opportunity to continue if if PlayStation has decided that this is no longer the direction they're going and they shut off the faucet, you can't force PlayStation to give them money. I think I, I definitely think PlayStation, I don't know if Naughty Dog specifically, but a lot of these other devs, they definitely told them, like, yeah, we we delaying this shit or it ain't coming out ever. Like, yeah, make some different shit. Like they definitely did that. Uh yeah. So I mean, you would think, but you would think too at the same time, Naughty Dog would have like the most leeway with that shit because they like the, you know, one of the top devs. So it's like, if PlayStation actually went in and told them like, stop making that shit, that would be. I feel like Naughty Dog themselves was like, we not doing it, bro. I don't really feel like it came yeah. from PlayStation. I feel like Naughty Dog was he, like, we ain't, we ain't doing shit. Absolutely, I, I'm on on, on long lines where I feel like they just threw in a towel on it. Like, they said their ambition got the best of them. They said that, that what they wanted to do is, is too much. They couldn't do it. Which is crazy, but that's <sighs> why I, I truly believe that the amount of money they spent into that's why I, I do. Like it'd be different if like they, they were defunding studios making these games as a service. Like it's it's clear. Like the direction they did drastically changed and they made huge changes in their company. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I mean you saw it across the board people constantly getting get let go like like they were on a, a a vengeance on like okay, you know I I think Jim Ryan is still there for for I don't know. You know, I guess you can make the argument if this dude got fired or not, but to me everything he did is being re, uh, is being uno reversed. So how yeah, do you crazy. expect me that's to crazy. believe that all the decisions that he made in the short amount of time he was in charge is being reversed, and you expect me to believe that that he's not leaving on his own? It's like I think it's one of those things like you can either stay here and, and finish this this X amount of time, or you or or, or we can fire your ass. And in that kind uh, corporate, you, <laughs> corporate, you don't want that. Like corporate, you. You want things to be oh, as shit. civil as possible, because he, because obviously he's gonna want to get a job afterwards. What do you think it's gonna be easier to get a job? Him finishing his tend at, at at PlayStation, do what he was supposed to, or oh damn, they got rid of him. Do we really want him to? Like, just, hey, you know they gonna have to clean it up. You know how they go. Yeah. And then not to mention this dude, Matt. Oh, he might just retire. Like. Just, yeah, man. That's a that's a. I don't know, man. I'm curious to see how uh, the the year plans out. I mean, uh, what places you got Hell Divers? They got another Square Enix game, two Square Enix games that get them all through the for, the, the first quarter. You got Last of Us uh, Part Two Remaster, Hell Divers, Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth, whatever, and you have uh, what's that bubble game that they're doing? Um, you got Rise of the Ronin, Rise of the Ronin, Foam, Rose, Fo- Foam, Foam, Stars. Foam Stars, Rise of the Ronin. So yeah, they're definitely. Third party, second party, heavy, starting off in 2024. So give it. And you know uh, why they're third uh, party? Their first party, an an enormous break. You know why they're doing remakes and and relying a lot on first party, uh, uh, second party, and third party? Because it's less money on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with that being said, I mean. Did you. Hold on. Real quick, another rumor that came out. Oh, a win the slides. Did y'all see the Spider Man 3 situation where they saying there's going to be three games, three different parts? No, I thought that was fake. That's real. They, I, apparently, they said the game was going to be three different parts because you remember with that multiplayer shit too. So it's either canceled or it's going to be part of Spider Man 3. They're going to have a, a, a multiplayer section, and then the game is going to be two other parts, $50 a piece. If that was fake, then I don't know because it was with all that other shit. So you're gonna 
They want to make they want to make Spider Man three three parts. Two parts is a story, and then one part is an online component. Come out at different times. Wow. Wow. Talk about milk. If it, I, I, I can believe it. I really can believe it. But, uh, even okay. if that shit fake, I can believe it. I, I ain't gonna even hold you, bro. I I'm going to be I'm probably gonna get attacked for this, and that's fine. Uh, what I you don't like me up. anyway. Um I don't disagree with that mindset because I prefer games fleshed out than rushing a game and making three games into one. You know, uh, to me, I'd prefer a whole arc of a game because that's how I think they're doing it. This is a whole story. And instead of rushing 10 hours of one uh, antagonist, we're going to flesh that antagonist out and actually have good screen time. Like, look at Spider Man 2. They had an arc with Venom, an arc with. What the, what's that dude? The Hunter? Craven. Craven. Craven the Hunter. I would have preferred Spider-Man 2 to really flesh out Craven. Now, they did a good job, but I think we can agree they could have done better. And, if, and they, they shared that game with multiple villains, and I felt like the game itself was hurt a little bit. Now, if they doing what you're saying, which is... Now, I can't agree with that because that was one of my problems with the game. You know what I mean? The, the whole mild shit kind of felt like an afterthought. Of Diddy. Mm -hmm. So if they actually doing that to where, okay, it's just a separated story, you know, like a Miles Morales event. Okay, cool. But if they not doing that, bro, and it's the same silly ass writing and you just want to stretch <laughs> the game out, like, no, nah, man, I ain't with that. Because like people try to use like Final Fantasy as an example, and I don't think that's a fair example. Because Final Fantasy VII remake isn't really a remake, so ain't that game still like 40, 50 hours still? Like, well, what they're doing is they they're spoiler alert: ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Their Final Fantasy VII is not the original Final Fantasy VII. Mm. That like, for instance, at the end of remake, Sephiroth shows up out of nowhere and you don't run into Sephiroth in the actual game for a while. So they, uh, you know, you fight him at the end of the remake and that fight does not happen in the original seven. And he says like there, you know, do you see those ghosts in final fantasy seven remake, those black ghosts? Mm -mm. Well, they're in the trailers. If you look them up, it's like these black ghosts that like surround people. They're, okay. They're called, I can't remember what they're called, like Reapers or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. They're designed to keep the original timeline in check. Mm. So anything that happens that diverts, because I think Sephiroth from Advent Children or a future Sephiroth has came back in time and he's trying to change the timeline because he lost. And mm. that's my personal opinion, because at the end of Seven, he shows up. And he cuts a hole in, in the dimension, and all those ghosts go fucking nuts because he's doing something so out of the ordinary, according to the original timeline, yeah. that they've they've went crazy. And then you go into that dimension with Sephiroth, and you fight the king of those ghosts. And when you kill him, all the ghosts die. Mm. And none of that happened in, in Se Final Fantasy VII. Uh, and uh, that was pretty much signifying, and not to mention when you're fighting that last boss, you're seeing memories from the future of Final Fantasy VII, like Aerith dying, the meteor. That is literally telling you this is not going to be the same game. We're not going to show you scenes from the from the game that we're going to give you because that's not going to happen. Okay, I got I got an idea of what's going on. All right, so. This what you mentioned about these Spider-Man games. They they're gonna be working on a Silk game. That's another Spider female character. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Spoiler well, alert. She, yeah, she was yeah. at the end of uh yeah seven, uh, of of the second. Oh my bad. The, Shit. The, the, the little uh, you know the Asian chick you yeah, meet yeah, yeah. at the uh, dinner. That's 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 another Spider yeah person. Yeah. You didn't look that up. The other I, one. I, I damn sure didn't know who that was. I'm like, who the fuck is that? No, I'm talking to Smooth. Smooth. You saw that and didn't look that up. You just like that did. like that rock. <laughs> I know. I just wrote on Twitter. It just I was like, I would just look, put it up in Sonic. Yeah, yeah, she gonna be. Yeah, she gonna be in the next Spider Man game. The the multiplayer. Um, that's not. Uh, who's the chick that you was? The one her boyfriend is, or the dude that was that cold. Who's this? Is a spoiler alert. If you finish the side quest. He's a. I think he's going to be their version of uh, Carnage. You did that side quest. 
Oh, yeah, the yeah, flame? yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Isn't that yeah. the flame? Yeah, yeah, that is carnage. Yeah, that's carnage. Yeah. So the girl you was with is that's not her. Who who's that's um Yuri. Yuri, that's um Rafe. Rafe, right? Yeah, okay, all right. So I right, so then okay. There's a there's a lot. I can see how they could do a multiplayer game. It's probably gonna be in the Spider Verse with all the different Spider Mans and Spider. We don't know characters. if that's been canceled though. <laughs> yeah, they 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 had the slides of it. I don't know if you saw the slides of it. It was like different shit they were showing. Like they was fighting like a big ass like Venom, but he like had like. Sandman powers or some shit. I don't know. It, it looked cool, bro. A little concept art. Yeah. Um. You know, it's just some you know Xbox thing. It looked like uh, Insomniac is they're targeting Hellblade like two graphics uh for Wolverine. Um. So as they should, as, they, as that, they should. That's a good target. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The game looked good. I don't know the issue. Insomniac. There was reports that uh, Sunset Overdrive only made five hundred sixty-seven dollars. I I don't know what to make of that. Uh, meaning that it probably that's, made five hundred dollars more than what I don't. I would have to have more context behind that. <laughs> yeah. Is that after? Is that is that? Is like, that after did they the make Microsoft that out? Like, come on. I'm curious if that's like how much they made in royalties, or if that's how much they the because there's no way the game made five hundred sixty. Right. So the game made the so, shit is crazy. I think Either the game way. sold. I guess made amount like it probably cost eight million right to make the game that they they made eight hundred million five hundred sixty seven dollars. So, crazy. so oh, it, it just I... broke even. But I, I don't think I won't look at it as a bad thing because at the end of the day, Insomniac got a bag for that game from Microsoft directly, right? Yeah, I mean, so it's Sonic like was paid. To, there's there's to, context. To make that game. They're they're gonna right. add, provide context that, and Microsoft does own the publishing rights for three of those games, and they've only been one. They haven't made a follow up, so those the chances of PlayStation seeing a Sunset Overdrive game come out on which is not actually happening even oh, though they own you, it did you see the other rumor about that though what's that they said that they were making they wanted to make an um sunset overdrive 2 and a resistance 4 and playstation canceled them oh that was wow. another rumor that, yeah the leaks the leaks aren't done bro that leak came out like i want to say yesterday so yeah apparently yeah. i don't know if they was already working on it concept stages but they said resistance 4 and sunset overdrive 2 and sony canceled both of them i'm kind of curious if if Microsoft would sell them the publishing rights back, I mean, that I, it would be I feel something like they, they should. Would, they shouldn't, but they would. I feel like they should. At this I mean, point, they're they're not gonna, I mean, there. yeah, they can get the money for it. I'll do it. Nah, yeah, it, I, like, well, I, I was like, you gotta find a way to get that shit on Xbox. Now, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what if they agree that they agree to sell it to them, but it, it's a timed exclusive? Would you be okay with that? No. They own so it the had to come to out pre- day and date. Had to come out on Xbox. Xbox, yeah. But here's my thing: if you can get a Sunset Overdrive on Xbox, and you just have to wait no. six months to a year. But but the, the 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 alternate version of this is never coming out ever. Oh, well, play, the places you want to buy the rights are they going to offer Microsoft to buy it? They, they, who the places you probably don't even want the shit. No, no, they don't. They, that's what <laughs> no, play, I mean, shit clearly. <laughs> shit. I guess to me. Even if, because I would still play it on PlayStation, it was an okay game. But to me, I care more about the game being made than whether or not it, it would be a timed exclusive or not. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't care. I think the game was a good game for what it was. Um, I don't care to see another one unless it's on Xbox. I got the game on Steam. I still ain't never played it. It, it wouldn't let okay. me go. On, it wouldn't let me go on window because I wanted to stream it right. But to stream on PC, I have to go on window mode to turn the fucking stream on. It wouldn't let me do uh... that. Yeah, so I never it was an okay it. game. Yeah, I might. Look like, yeah, look I, I'm it. probably gonna repeat it on. Um, please, I said I forgot. Did you get? You still get like you get double up on the achievements. Um, I have it on. Um, I'm gonna probably beat that. Beat it on a rogue. Um, it was, it's probably it's worth playing. I could get the, you know, 60 FPS on that. But um, man, yeah, the, you're right. The leaks aren't done yet. They just keep posting like new things, man, and um. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now, the do you want to talk about real quick about whether or not we should be covering leaks? Uh, yes, we should be covering leaks. But go ahead. I know you. I know this has been a big deal. Kind of funny. Yeah. And how do you these... feel, Jack? Because I mean, you ain't really talked. Like, do you think that there should be limitations to how we cover leaks, or do you think at that point? Because he, my thing is, if I didn't leak it, it's not my fault it got leaked. Oh no, that's true. That's the same thing with NDAs. If you did not sign that NDA, like Suicide Squad, 
I never signed an in Suicide Squad. If I'm talking about it, I'm not. You know what I mean? If somebody else break it, then it's it's free mm-hmm. game at that point. But um, as far as that leaking shit, bro, this is my thing. with kind of funny, bro. Either everything is cool or nothing is cool, right? So if you have a history of Capcom, for instance, they had a ransomware attack just like Insomniac. Mm-hmm. Employee information got Almost leaked identical. just like exactly just like Insomniac, right? So if you reported and covered that. I need you to do the same with anything else. Uh, and then I don't want to hear this. Oh, they changed. Brother, they was talking about Suicide Squad leaks like a day and a half before this Insomniac shit. So how much did they change, right? And they, they did a rebuttal. They said, well, uh, the same the same extent that we covered the Insomniac leaks we did with the... Ca- Let that be known. Because the way it looks optically, it's bad, bro. You're... you're it's gleeful. It's happy. Oh, Suicide Squad leaked exclamation point. And, and, and then... Was- Insomniac which, is to lead him alone. Like, what the fuck? Huh? What, no, what's man. funny is if you look at the the timestamps, they went into detail about the uh, the Xbox leaks. That's what it, I'm it saying. Is, exactly. yeah, it's just like, look, like, you know, and then people say, well, it's because people's information wasn't leaked. It's like, okay, your point. It's still a leak. And the Capcom leak, they covered that shit and they had no problem doing that. It's just like, I personally feel like Let's be real here. We both do podcasts. We've been doing it for a long time. How how long? How much do we speak about leaks? Realistically, every year. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, and if we get in this this weird ass conversation, it could end up leading to us. Here's my thing. I don't want Greg Miller's movement start pushing to PR people, developers, publishers. Mm-hmm. And then before you know it, the, the industry decides as a whole because of Greg Miller's false movement, his 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 double standards movement, that now no one gets to cover uh, leaks. And if you do, you're you're blacklisted from everyone. It's, it's bullshit at the end of the day. Because all these, all these, you know, it would be different if, like you said, if a leak came out and, like, nobody's fucking reporting on People are going to talk, bro. Even with the GTA shit, people are going to talk. And another thing about that name and all the information, unless you're a seedy fucking black market, nobody, I have yet to see any employee information leak, bro. All that we've been talking about is the games, the role. Yeah, no don't nobody yeah, no give one cares. A- yeah, no bro, one that, cares about the personal information. That's, and that's a, not necessary. We don't care they got leaked. Yeah. We don't care about that information. Exactly. That's a scapegoat, bro. Nobody's sharing that on the timeline. Damn, look at dude, Social Security. Nobody's doing that. I don't did know you what you that that we, seeing that. Did you see that dude that said we should be charged for criminal uh, behavior with the, the hacker himself? Oh, God. It's like, look, if that's crazy, like when it comes to leak stuff, you can ask Smooth. I knew about Blade like a week before it came out. It, it, but how easy would it have been for me to make a video about Blade and went viral on YouTube? Easy. Yeah, of course. I, but then if I did that and Xbox decides to side eye me and say, I ain't fucking with you no more, I, I had to take that. Okay, I get that because I, I decided to cover that. So I yeah. understand if there's repercussions for that. But if someone else leaks Blade and, and then I you talk cover, about it, exactly. Th- there's no, you. Ban that dude. <laughs> like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. People just... It, it, I just... You know what, Attic, bro? It's just... It's disingenuous, bro. The whole game and discourse is so... It, you know, it's, one time... You know, it, like... It, for example, bro, Phil Spencer whole biography, everything he ate for lunch could leak his social security number, birth certificate, credit... Niggas would be on the timeline retweeting that shit. Oh, look at Phil Spencer. Bro, tell me I'm lying, bro. Yeah. But now that it's, it's time to ignore the issue, like, get out of here with this shit, bro. Y'all never had no problem with no Nintendo leaks when Xbox mm-hmm. shit leaked. Y'all fucking loved it, bro. Yeah, and you're so, talking you know, about both sides of your necks, man. You know what I'm saying? It's starting to show that, you know, okay, if you don't uh, if you don't believe in the Xbox tax, that's cool. But at this point, you cannot deny that PlayStation gets, they get a, they get a curve. It don't oh. matter, like, they get a top and then it de- and then they just automatically get points for no reason. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like you know biases exist throughout all like media. I feel like everybody got their certain time where they get, you know, the benefit of the doubt or the bias. Now, it's, pl- it's definitely PlayStation time right now. It definitely is. I think I also want to say in regards to like the leaks and like the whole Wolverine gameplay and, and this stuff. The thing that even though like they know what sells the only thing i guess that doesn't make that super excites me about the game is that it's pretty much 
the same concept again. It's like that. I don't know if it's the Last of Us effect or the God of War effect or whatever it is uh, that we the gameplay, uh, the theme is pretty much kind of consistent with, you know, their pillars of, you know, the God of War, <laughs> The Last of Us and stuff like that. So when I saw the game, I was like, OK, I kind of know how this whole entire thing is going to uh, play out. Uh, the stuff you're going to be doing when you're not getting into action, you're going to be sniffing around and, and peeking around. And and, and, the, and the thing, too, is like, I don't think people necessarily like and, and maybe Jack Moose is here. He's, he can collaborate on this. I don't think people like Jack Moose have an issue with those type of games. They just want more variety with those games. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like you can yes. make those games and they can all be fucking mirrors of each other. As long as you have other games that play different and give your platform diversity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is true. That is true. Another another Sony template thing that's that's is really and, and I like think that's, head. I hold real quick. I think that's the reason the template has gotten worse, is because they stopped making those other games. So now it's only those yeah, games. Yeah, this is only play. yeah. No, that's you spin facts right now because last generation I used to get mad at the Sony template memes and I would be like, You fucking stupid. But now I clear they're clear as day. And another Sony template thing that they're adding since The Last of Us, and I was talking about the web with other week, dual protagonist. Uh mm-hmm. also in the Wolverine leaks, you're not only playing as Wolverine. Yeah. That's all I'll say. You playing as multiple characters. So uh you can go from any you can go from Spider-Man, Last of Us, God of War. You know War. where I think I got that from? What a... GTA 5. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. GTA yeah, 5 I definitely think they started saw all the success shit. on that and then the whole industry like, you know what? We can make two different in protagonists. Like <laughs> it, it it's it's a cool novelty, man. I think some games it do lend itself to, but I'm getting tired of it, bro. I really am. Like make playing as one character great again, man. Like Tell one complete fucking story. All this extra shit is cool sometimes, bro. But these devs overdoing it, man. Every game ain't gotta have that. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's what sells, right? Is these type of games for a single player's perspective or uh, Fortnite knockoffs? So, um, but yeah, or I mean, Zelda knockoffs. <laughs> yeah. All right, but we're at the uh, you know uh, the end of uh, the show. Uh, Ad, uh, Attic, you know, always appreciate you, man. And Jack, thanks for hanging out uh, with us in today's episode. Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to think. I don't know if we're going to be taking a a break. I'm going to say next Saturday. Uh, well, this is not even a Saturday at the time that we're recording this, but um, I want to say next week. We'll it'll be right before the New Year's. Um, so Attic, I don't know if you how you yeah, feeling. Yeah, I'll be here. All right, so if we do that, and then I'll probably take. I don't know if I'll take any time off, honestly. Uh, I, I I think I think since we got Jack this week, we should get BG next. All right, we'll we'll, we'll see. With BG be having a actually, I'm actually want to go. I want to do dinner yeah, with this, BG. This um, is a good, this is a good thing because we do a pre-recorded shit, so yeah. we can just grab him anytime. Yeah, we have no- so we oh, have, have an episode with each one of the weapon wheel members while we on break. That's, yeah, that's true. That that's might true. be the move. I see what y'all doing over here. I did that some years ago, back when I was doing PX on the um on my channel. I remember remember that. Well, this is this is Planet yeah, Xbox, like what four point Yeah. Like, what, what iteration of Planet Xbox is this? You didn't reboot this motherfucker more than the last of us, bro. You going crazy. <laughs> I've been part of what two iterations of Planet Yeah, Xbox. there's been there's been this is definitely like the, the, the fourth one, but we'll, we'll I promise for cons- consistency. But Jack man, you got anything anything come, going on? Any streams coming up during this break, man? Uh yeah, you know, Alan Wake, yeah, Alan Wake too, man. Whenever I get around to stream, I was gonna I might stream today. I don't know. I'm kind of tired though. But you know, streaming until you know the weapon will come back eventually. Mm-hmm. We're gonna come back, man. All right, we gonna come back. There's a lot of shit going on over. When we do come back, though, smooth that podcast, that first week back, maybe that first two weeks back, them joints gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah, BG said if the if the news keeps dropping, you guys might have to come back on the seventh. Yeah, might have to come back. Get crazy. <laughs> how you? How gaming news gonna cut my break short? You see what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, bro. Oh man, but definitely, Attic. Uh, I know you're gonna be coming uh, out my way uh, fairly soon, so we got to link up. Yeah, I'll, for sure. I'll be there next month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that. Uh, uh, do like a, a weapon wheel and IOP dinner or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Besides try to... Jack because Jack Jack lives in another state. <laughs> yeah, man. 
Yeah, we can definitely. Uh, please, do that. please, and please invite Bond, man. If you don't invite yeah. Bond, bro, please, <laughs> please, bro. Yeah, we can definitely uh, plan for that for sure. Um, but yeah, you got anything going on that you want to? Uh, not really. Uh, I've been making videos. I don't. I have a couple video ideas I can make today, but I haven't really settled in on anything yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do plan on doing some some videos with ACG. Uh, so I got that going on. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm going to do more collab videos because uh, mm-hmm. I, I want to like change up the type of content I make a little bit. Like not necessarily change it up, just have a you know variety. A variety of content you know kind of like what playstation needs but that's besides the fact man uh so i, I I'm, I'm enjoying things man you know i i appreciate uh everyone that did show up and uh listen to it even though half of you fuckers hate me uh that's fine yeah. but you know we'll, we'll we'll be back next week hopefully with bg that would be interesting yeah. i'm still trying to put out some more content me I'm, I'm trying to get this wife uh my my ch- a channel launch with my wife Something completely different. So I'll be, uh, I don't know what, what happened to apples and oranges, man. Uh, it's know. still on the deck. It's not. It's not. It's just the fact that it's like I can always go back and do content on it. Podcasting wise, probably a little bit tough. Um, I, I mean, I like it. I still revisit the channel. I just haven't really done anything think- for it. I think I'm I still think- sub to that channel, man. I, 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 mm-hmm. I've I've heard your wife's opinion on certain things. I think you and and her need to do celebrity drama and stuff and give you yeah, opinions but on like uh, that's that's true, which is appropriate for like apples and oranges. But believe it or not, my wife she don't really you know care about um that stuff. To she don't like investing in other people. Right? Well, it's not about investing. Yeah. In I mean, it, stuff like that. Yeah. It's just about commenting on like social aspects that's mm-hmm. going on in, in the world in, in general. Yeah. But we'll have something. I don't know if it's going to be revitalizing that channel into that or if we're going to start from scratch with something new. But the, the, the I'm thing about is, to start doing a couple, like couple prank videos. Smooth, that's what you're about to start doing. Nah, nah, it'll be. It'll be. <laughs> my wife, I'm gay. Surprise, <laughs> shocking. His wife would nah, kill his nah, ass. Nah, it'll nah, be we'll really yeah, her no, breaking no. him. <laughs> yeah, it won't, it won't be. Believe it or not, it won't be any like those corny couple channels or anything like that. It won't be anything uh, yeah. like that. It will be like something uh, useful. But appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Shout out to the Patreon. Uh, you know, keep that strong. Weapon will be back soon, and uh, I'll have some content on the channel up uh, shortly. As always, guys, Xbox is the best box. I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. We are out of here. Peace.